UC Davis announcing it's had a catastrophic failure at one of its labs, killing thousands of fish. And now some are calling for the research facility to be closed. Tonight we're getting answers on what caused this accidental fish kill. I think UC Davis should lose its license to keep animals. Strong reaction from animal welfare advocates hearing that 21,000 fish were killed in a research lab mishap at UC Davis. UC Davis has a long history of such accidents and they often result in death. The accidental poisoning occurred at the Center for Aquatic Biology and Aquaculture located west of the main campus. Our first goal is really to find out what happened. Fish are held in these water tanks that are up to 24 feet wide. The facility allows researchers to study and perform various conservation experiments on several species of threatened and endangered fish, including sturgeon and Chinook salmon. The tank water where these fish were living in ended up with chlorine in them, and chlorine is exquisitely toxic to fishes. The university is still investigating how the chlorine, which is used to treat water leaving the facility, got into the fish tanks. The assumption is that there was some sort of a backup within the pump systems or within the piping system that led to this. The university is now reviewing safety measures at its other aquatic labs and says the death of so many fish could impact years of research. It's certainly affecting some of our graduate students and their research projects that are required for them to complete their uh, master's degrees and PhD projects. Now the organization People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals is saying there needs to be more oversight and regulation of this type of research. This laboratory needs to close down entirely. They've already killed 21,000 animals. They shouldn't get a chance to kill anymore. Well, this isn't the first time animals have been accidentally killed during campus research. The university has been cited by the USDA in the past for several fatalities at its primate research center.